Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to compare the box plot versus the violin plot. In the video before this, I compared the box plot and boxing plot and showed that the boxing plot does a better job of showing the distribution of larger data sets when you have more samples, whereas the box plot does a better job when you have smaller data sets and typically when it's a little bit more Gaussian. In this case, we're going to compare the box plot versus the violin plot to see how they compare for looking at the distribution of various data sets. To begin, we will use the NumPy, Seaborn, and Matplotlib to set this up. We'll begin with a sample size of 50. And again, we'll be looking at the log normal distribution and the normal distribution. We will run this cell and look at the box plot. And so we've seen this before where for the normal distribution, we have, again, our data is centered around zero. 50% of the data can be found within in this major box. This left whisk represents the minimum value. This right whisk represents the maximum value. And for the log normal distribution, we see that we again have our skew where more of the data is skewed to the lower end versus the higher end consistent with this distribution of the data. Again, as well, as we increase the sample size, if we jump to 5,000, we see that the log normal distribution becomes significantly more clear as the number of outlier peaks increases as our sample size increases. And so in this case, we're going to now switch to the violin plot to see how this distribution looks when we apply a special density estimator called a kernel density estimator. And like the boxing plot, the documentation looks very similar to the box plot. Where again, we just call the violin plot method. We can load in data, specify X and Y, particularly if we have categorical data, and then we can um, plot the data. Now, the difference between the box plot and the violin plot is that the violin plot applies a kernel density estimation on top of the distribution. And so in this case, it could be more appealing visually to see what this data looks like. This can be really good for data storytelling. However, the watch out for this type of plot is that it can make the data look artificially smooth, which could be a bigger issue if you have a smaller data set. Let me show you. So we'll copy the cell, paste it below. And again, we have our 50 samples. We're going to switch this to violin plot and run it. And we can see for the smaller sample size, this looks like it's relatively smooth, even though we know based on the earlier version, let me show here, that there's quite a bit of sparseness between these peaks. And we can see that sort of reflected here as well. For the normal distribution, we still have our data centered around zero, and this looks somewhat typical. If we increase the size up to 5,000, we see that now it's really clear that we have a skewed distribution for the log normal case and that we have a very normal distribution once this kernel density estimator is applied for the Gaussian data set. And as I showed in the last video, if we use NumPy to apply the log to the log normal distribution, we can normalize our data set. And now we see we have fairly identical distributions for both the normal distribution and the corrected log normal distribution. In an earlier video, I showed how you can apply your own function transformer. So that if you discover that your data has a log normal distribution, you can apply something like this to that data set. And if you're doing this for machine learning, this works within the sklearn pipeline so that you can still do your train test split, your cross validation and avoid data leakage. And by using the violin plot, you can see how the data structure looks. This is one way to see if the data is more normal and can be more visually appealing than the standard box plot. If you enjoy this video, like, share, subscribe. I'll be posting more of these plot verses so that you'll be exposed to more data visualization figures you may be less familiar with. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.